Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an early reaction to my Premier League predictions. Uh, I made these quite a while ago. Let's say I've got some right, I've also got some a little bit wrong. Anyway, let's discuss it today. So, my first predictions as you can see already, oh my word. I said Sheffield United would finish 20th, they are in 6th. They have had a really good season, I didn't think they'd have the depth, I didn't realise that Chris Wilder was such a clever football manager and the way they play. They've not got a striker that's scoring 20 goals a season, but they've just got such a good group of players, and defensively they're good, but they can also score some goals. Really amazed to see how well they're doing, and it's, for all that, was on Westmont Shelby and we had the Battle of Bremel Lane, you got to say, give it to Sheffield United, it's, they're a really good side. Anyway, let's see what I say. Exactly what I said. I didn't think that. Anyway, I was wrong. Let's. Uh... Most of that side is Premier League quality, but okay. Oh no, I'm talking about Cardiff. Sorry. <laughs> Potter's done a good job, although Brighton are in 15th, so you do wonder, they could still go down, I don't think they will, I think Potter was a good appointment, and he's a young manager, so I think Brighton need to stick with him, I think he will, he will improve as a coach, he'll get more experience, so I think eventually Brighton, I think he could be a manager that pushes Brighton for the top 10, uh, but relegation is out of the question. Must that admit, I mean, I know people say that as a bit of rivals, but I'm pretty proud of that one. I kind of said that right, a lot of the players that they signed in would not necessarily have made a step up for the Premier League. I mean, they've got some good players in there, Grealish has looked decent, to be fair to him. Uh, uh, Tyron Mings has had a good season, that's him. And uh, John McGinn. You know, they've got some good players that have done alright, but they've got a lot of players that I don't think, for me, have set up. But Villa could still stay up, there's still other sides that could go down. Burnley in 17th, they are 10th. And he's injured for the season, that's something I didn't mention with the Villa. They have had the injuries of Wesley and uh, Heaton. And if there's any Villa fans watching, is Amboana Ali Samata injured? Because I see that he's only played two games 
just wondering. Pepe Reina, he had that game against Southampton that looked a bit shaky, but on to Burnley now. I've been impressed with Burnley, they are currently sitting in 10th. They remind me a bit of a season we had in the 16-17 to 17 season. A decent season, uh, that was. Uh, they've got some good players, Dwight McNeil's looking like a good talent, and Jay Rodriguez has got some goals as well as Ashley Barnes and Chris Wood, so I think Burnley, that, they'll definitely stay up for me, Burnley. Sheen Dyche is a very good manager. I was a bit mean to predict them to finish 17th, really. Now, New Newcastle in 13th at the moment, they should stay up, so I kind of, I got it right that they're going to stay up, but I think I've got that fairly accurate, they've got a good squad, I think Bruce, I'm not sure about him as a manager, in my opinion, and by the way, all of this video, it's just my opinion, I'm not saying I know any of this stuff, I'm not saying if I know if a manager is good or not, because what do I know about football, I'm not even a professional footballer, and nowhere near, uh, but Steve Bruce, good manager, and he's kept Newcastle up, uh, but there has been a bit of the odd shaky moment, and if there's any Newcastle fans watching, love to get your opinion on Bruce. He's a good championship manager. Did one in the championship for Hull. Crystal Palace this season have looked like, oh, they might be just about to drop into the relegation fight, and then they'll get a win together, a few wins together, and they're now in 11th, so Roy Hodgson, good manager, had him at the Albion, and he went to the England job because of us, and I like Hodgson, I think he's a good manager. Yep, even back then, about a few months ago. That is true. All have had decent seasons, so not too bad going from either. Bournemouth, it's not going well. Started off similar to how I predicted this, but I don't know what to say. They've just had a bad run of form, and then they've had that they had that good performance, and then they've just tailed off. I'm not sure about Bournemouth, and it's the whole thing. Do you sack Eddie Howe? It's a hard one. I don't know. With Bournemouth, in your opinion, would you sack any how? Let me know. I'm not annoyed about this. Okay, not at your bottom and unlikely to stay up, but they have good players and they play some good football. So I don't think I'm stupid to call it to call them finishing in the uh, 13th. Okay, I probably underestimated Wolves a little bit for this. They're in fifth. I thought that the Europa League wouldn't affect them too much, but it wouldn't. They couldn't have the season they just had. To be fair, they're looking for you. They're looking likely they're going to get European football. So the Wolves have done well.
Everton are in 12th, so they're currently, and I predict them to finish in 11th. 11. Really impressive how long Shadotti's done. I mean, they could still go for European football, but, you know, they're doing all right. I'm definitely not going to get relegated. May even push to go a bit higher. I'm just waiting for the next one. I was kind of right with that. He got the sack in the end. Just never really seemed to Everton seemed to really suit him. To be fair to Lampard, he's had a he's done an amazing job. I gave him a bit of grief in this video. I didn't think he was Premier League quality. He did. He's done such a good job at Chelsea. They're in fourth at the moment. Champions League football looks very likely. Tenth. What was I thinking? That young squad has pulled together through that really well, and that looks... There's a lot of really exciting youngsters that's come through that. Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, Tamori, James, and others. Billy Gilmore made his first start today against Everton. Looking like a good side. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? Three games and then they sacked him, replaced him with Kiko Sanchez Flores. He got sacked. Nigel Pierce. I think Watford will stay up. And maybe Good could get ninth place in a few seasons' time, but oh my word. To be fair, you can't even you can't even say this was a stupid prediction. They just got to the FA Cup final. They were pushing Wolves for the Europa League for the whole season. And then they suddenly just To be fair they had a bit of bad form at the end of um, of last season, so it's not too surprising. That's true. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. That's weird. I've I've also not watched this since I made the video, which was like seven months ago, so that's pretty weird. Southampton, 8th place. They are in 14th, but they have been in the top 10. I don't think this was necessarily such a bad prediction. Hassan Hurt is a good manager, which I'm probably going to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> genuinely not watched this as well for like ages. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a, not a bad prediction. And it could come true if, Watford, if Southampton, not Watford, have like a good, like, bit of form. Redmond hasn't, I'm not sure about Redmond this season, he's not looked as good as he did last season, IMO, in my opinion. Now, I may have underestimated him a little bit, but come on, I predicted Leicester get to get European football, and they are in third. 
I don't know, I'm proud of myself with this prediction. Because I predict Leicester to do well. I saw that Brendan Rodgers was having a good turn them around and they were playing really well. That is probably the one I did, I'm proud of the most out of all my predictions. Right, I've spelt Leicester wrong. I still miss him, I still miss him. Why, why Lester? Why, why would you recall him? Why? Why? Okay, really good prediction to a pretty terrible one. They are 10 places low in 16. I just thought Pellegrini, with that experience coming into this season and that side, they could get Europe, Europa League football. But boy, was I wrong. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> That we don't need to talk about that anymore. Come on, there we go. Now, United, Manchester United are in seventh, so not too far off. They could easily finish fifth, in my opinion. I did next. Arsenal. Okay, they are in ninth. Uh, I don't even know how this has happened. They've gone from being. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I, I, but I got it wrong. And they, I mean, the season's not over yet. But I don't think they're going to get fourth. Arteta, I think, will work if they give him time, but they can't do this immediately. And they probably wish it was Fengeresque. <laughs> uh, eighth place, five positions down. Ah. Oh. Right, so here's another discussion. Has Jose Mourinho do, done a good job? We'll go over all of these discussions at the end of the season when we kind of know what's happening in about a month and a half, something like that. Tottenham, not been a brilliant season. Uh, third place probably was a bit off the mark. And here we go. Right, I've got the top two right, just not in the wrong order. Just in the wrong order. Uh, yeah. I was almost going to say Liverpool would win the league, and I thought, nope, I'm playing it safe, I'll go Manchester City, because they're probably more likely, and I wish I went for Liverpool, because they've been tremendous this season, apart from playing against Watford. Uh, no, seriously though, Liverpool are going to get their first Premier League title, that's practically going to happen now. They surely can't, they, sure, they surely cannot slip up again. If they can I think, well, if they do, then Liverpool fans, it, it will be a big joke, club, but that's not going to happen. They're going to stay up. Uh, Manchester City, been a bit off the ball this season, but they've still been in second, still decent season. Although they've got the Champions League ban, which could affect them. So maybe that's something to take into consideration for the next Premier League predictions. Anyway, that wraps this reaction video up. If you want me to do a, uh, if you want me to do a another predictions, which I might do anyway, 
up and let me know. Uh, see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Comment with your predictions of your club in the Premier League. How they'll finish this season. How they'll finish next season. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice week. Have a nice eternity. Goodbye.